compagnies et prêtres Rends les choses faciles Et sèche-moi ces larmes de crocodile Hi guys, welcome to Biker Radar Vlogs. I'm Kunal Jhaam and I'm the founder of BikerRadar.com and today I'm going to try something completely new here. I thought I'll take you through all the latest in the motorcycling news that has piqued my interest and possibly it might interest you too. So today is about the latest motorcycling news in the all new segment that I like to call Moto News. Uh, I'll think of a better name soon but as of now Moto News sounds fine. So let's go. With the conclusion of the Aikma Motor Show in Milan, uh, there have been a lot of latest launches and a lot of new bikes that are in the market and there have been a lot of uh, news and buzz all around it. But what I've been thinking is why is nobody talking about the Tokyo Motor Show? I feel that there were quite a few interesting things that happened there and I thought why not talk about them. So recently Honda was in the news for the showcase of their self-balancing motorcycle called the Honda Riding Assist E and this was showcased at the Tokyo Motor Show. Okay, before we go ahead, this is just a disclaimer. I am a Honda fanboy, but then this is just a commentary, not an endorsement. So as the whole story goes, at the beginning of this year, Honda and BMW Motorrad both announced that they're working on a self-balancing motorcycle and they both showcased their work in progress. Though much has not been talked about the technology behind these bikes, but as you can see in the video that the, the concept of the basis of the technology is very different for both of these brands. Honda has a very simpler approach to it. By the looks of it, the, the front wheel is self-activated, it turns on its own. Even the front fork has a special movement that goes front and back. So that enables the bike to balance itself. Now as for my understanding, this comes from Honda's age-old experiment with robotics. That is, since 2002, they have been developing a robot called Asimo. Many of you are aware of it, but even if you're not, here's a look. And Asimo, as you can see, is a self-balancing walking, even football playing robot that they've been developing. Uh, Honda has always been ahead with their uh, engineering and their passion for refinement and technology. And that's the reason why I love this brand since. But anyways, moving on to BMW. Now, by the looks of this uh, video, you can see that this bike is pretty uh, awesome looking it has huge fat tires it's got very sleek design to it uh, not much of a console on it it is a concept work of art of course but then the technology uh, by the video it looks like it has a self moving a self shifting centralized mass in the shape of gills i mean you know bmw and their gills and their shark fins and uh, these look like a self actuated self shifting uh, centralized mass this could also be the part where their batteries are it is a state-of-the-art technology it's way ahead of its time it's completely different than honda and why not that's bmw no words for it so you must be wondering how can yamaha be behind in all this technology i mean many of you must have heard and read about the and seen the videos about the yamaha motorbot the self-riding racing motorbot that actually they've been developing but we'll come to that later so Yamaha showcased at the Tokyo Motor Show a self-riding self-balancing motorcycle that's called the Yamaha Motoroid and the Motoroid can balance itself and ride on its own it is so intelligent as per Yamaha that it can even recognize its rider it can even somehow communicate with the rider which sounds really futuristic and science fiction but then we have to wait and watch for that i mean as you can see in the video it's also similar to the bmw motorcycle it's it also works on a centralized mass they but in this actually it looks like the batteries are there there's three cylinders in the center it looks like these are the uh, this is this battery and they're using the weight of the batteries as a centralized mass to balance itself and move forward but coming from this technology they have been working on the yamaha motorbot many of you must have seen the video the motorbot is the robot that has been riding a r1m and it is time to beat Valentino Rossi's lap record at one of their tracks and it seems really wonderful to see a robot ride on its own and go at these high speeds it's really working as you can see in the video even the grandmaster himself was surprised and shocked 
but then uh, I am just excited about all this technology and I really hope some of this comes to the road soon. Well, all I know, the coming times in the motorbiking world seems very exciting even with the recent launches at Aikma. These three things have piqued my interest the most and I think the future of motorcycling is really interesting and I really can't wait for one of these manufacturers to perfect their technology and bring it down to our, uh, down to our roads. So your guess is as good as mine when any of these technologies will come to the road but here's hoping that we do get to see something. So anyways, uh, this has been a really interesting and a long video. I hope I hope you liked it and if you do, hit the like button and if you like it even more subscribe and if you want to see more videos like this comment below and even share your thoughts on all this technology that i just showed right now share your thoughts let's have a discussion and let's see when we can get some of these bikes i'll try and cover some more uh, latest and interesting news like this for you uh, until then be safe ride safe see you next time thank you guys before I go, I completely forgot that the reason why I did this video was because I wanted to bitch about technology. I had a very bad experience with my hard disk. Uh, it's from the manufacturer called Seagate. So uh, all my data from my Ladakh ride, about 650 worth, uh, 650 GB worth of data is completely stored and locked in it. I'm trying to recover it and I hope I can. It's been almost three, four months now. I know, but then can't help it. I'm still stuck with it. But just a tip, do not buy Seagate. Go for a WD or uh, Lenovo. Lenovo works well, but that's for another vlog. Bye-bye.